Welcome, in this video I'm going to show you how you can perform a paired samples t-test using Python 3 and I'm using JupyterLab. So this test can be check, uh, can be used to check if you want to see uh, the, if there's a difference uh, in the population between two scale variables that are paired. So you have a score on both of the variables for each case. Now unlike a two samples t-test uh, or an independent samples t-test, uh, we actually do not need to check the variances um, because the data is paired and we're actually going to calculate first the difference for each pair and then perform the test. So in the end we actually only have one variable which is the difference. Um, as a source for this you can check McDonald 2014. There is a discussion on this on the research gate if you're really interested. To show you how this test can be performed, I'll need an example, so I'll import a CSV file using pandas, so I'll first import pandas. Uh, if you've never installed a package before, you can often use exclamation sign pip install and then the name of the package. I can then use the read CSV command to actually load the file, which is paired data, and the head will show me the first five records. As you can see, this data already has before and after as the only two variables and it already also calculated the difference, but that won't be necessary. Now one simple method to perform the paired samples t-test is to use the t-test the rel function of side by stat, so I'll load that in. And to use this function, um, what we're going to do is uh, we simply can uh, use those uh, t-test rel and then simply put in the two um, the two variables of interest. Now there's a bit of thing what do you want to do with the missing value so if somebody didn't answer uh, one or the other variable um, you can set it to simply then remove it or you can uh, raise which will throw an error or uh, um, the default is actually propagate which simply indicates that this will return none. Um, so Depending on your what you like, you can choose something different. But I usually set it to non-policy omit. In the example, we then find a t value and we find the significance, which is below 0.05. Uh, that's the usual threshold. So in this case, we would say that there is a significant difference. We can also use the t-test function from research by. So if I load that in then I can use the research by t-test, I call it RP t-test just to make sure that it's a different one. Um, select the two variables again, uh, equal variance is set to true and paired set to true and that should give us the results. Uh, it actually gives two things but the results is the uh, is the main one of interest. It has the same t-value and as you can see the two-sided p-values again the same. Uh, more results, but again, the the things we need are in there. Now, Pingoian also has a one, so I can use the t-test from Pingoian that uses actually a data frame, and again, the t-value it nicely also gives the degrees of freedom. That's uh, quite useful, which is also actually here, um, and the p-value is again the same. So. In the appendix, I will go over uh, the formulas. If you're really interested, I will leave a link to the this uh, to the Jupyter notebook in the description of the video. So just a quick look. I then really use two lists. I then need the n uh, calculate the difference for each pair. Then um, we actually calculate the average of those differences, the sum of squares of those differences. Um, then the standard deviation of those differences and then the standard error and finally then that t value and uh, that eventually becomes as we saw earlier. Uh, the degrees of freedom for this test is the number of uh, pairs that you have minus one and then you can use something like the side by stats to import a t distribution and eventually then get the um the 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 p value sorry um and that was it uh i i hope this video was helpful and thank you for watching